in Windchill, you can designate a WT part or a gray gear part as a gathering part in order to have all the components in a subassembly roll up to the next higher level assembly. Let's take a look at why we would want to do that. Here I am in a CAD assembly that I have checked into Windchill. If you take a look in my model tree, here we have a subassembly. This subassembly contains three of the same component, but they're not actually touching each other. They're just placed here in our aerospace cabling assembly. So I would never actually manufacture this particular level or want to manage it as a unit inside of Windchill in our product structure. But this does exist as an assembly within Creo Parametric, and I might not want to get rid of the assembly in Creo. So what I can do is in Windchill, I can designate this particular assembly as a gathering part, and that way these three components would roll up to the next higher level of the assembly, in this case, the top level assembly. So let's jump over to a web browser and take a look at how to do this. So here I am in a standalone web browser. I am looking at the folder that contains those different objects. Before I designate the necessary components as a gathering part, I'm gonna show you where that is controlled, the ability to have gathering parts roll up their components to the next higher level. I'm going to click on the browse command in the navigator, and then I will click on the site and then go to the utilities. And be aware, most people will not have access to the site utilities. Down here we have the preference management, and we have a whole lot of different objects in here. Let's expand part management, and then scroll down. And then within part management, we have the bomb report preference category. Let's expand that. And the first one in here is filter gathering parts. And by default, that is set to yes. So this will filter anything that is a gathering part from part reports. Okay, let's go back to that previous folder. And we've got the different contents in here. There are a lot. I happen to know that the top level has a bunch of zeros in the number, so that way I can go to the corresponding WT part for the aerospace harness assembly. Let's go to the structure tab, and here you can see the product structure for the harness. I wrote down that part number that I had in here. If you take a look, here we have that level of the product structure. Here we have whatever that component was and has a quantity of three in it. But I want these components, the 90990s, to roll up to the top level over here. I want to get rid of the 90299 level in this product structure. So let me right click on the WT part that I want to get rid of. If I go to the actions drop down menu, we can edit the common attributes and that will bring up a form inside of the form we have a drop down list right now gathering part this is set to no i'm going to use the drop down list to change this to a yes and then click the ok button and it refreshes and before the icon looked like a gray gear just like all other wt parts now it looks like sort of like a dashed out box and let's go back to the previous product structure using our recently accessed list. And if you take a look in the product structure, now that 90299, it also has that sort of dashed out box that indicates that it is a gathering part. Here are the 90990 components with the quantity of three. Let's take a look what happens when we generate a bomb report. Let's go to the reports drop-down list and let's take a look at a multi-level bomb. And so the report comes up, we can expand it and we can filter in or excuse me, find in the tree that component that is listed as a gathering part. Let's type in part of the number 900299 
and then hit the enter key and there's no match found. So 90299 does, isn't found in there. Let's take a look for the object with the quantity of three. That's 90990 and hit the enter key. And here we have it. It's at the first level, the top level of the structure. Here it has the quantity of three. So in that way, we're able to get it to roll up to the top level of the product structure and ignore that level that we're not actually going to manufacture or manage in our product lifecycle management system. So that is how you use gathering parts in order to remove a level of hierarchy, a subassembly from your CAD product structure into your windshield product structure. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.